Alright, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Fights in Tight Spaces. It is best described as turn-based John Wick, with like maybe a little bit of super hot just in terms of the, you, uh, it's a deck builder too, I should probably say that. You take actions, you're trying to avoid hits, you're fighting through groups of enemies. It's very tight, it's very fast-paced, it's really interesting. I'm just going to double-check a couple of these. Turn that up, turn the sound effects down. That should be fine. Alright, back. Let's get started. So I played this a while back and really enjoyed it. I've been wanting to play more. Uh, I think it came out on Xbox first, but I just wanted to wait for the PC because... Eh, Xbox. I didn't want to pull it out of my closet. Anyway, Agent Eleven. Sir, we have a number of emerging situations that could do with your skills. Okay, balanced. Oh! Deck that combines attack, defense, and combo to equal, equal measure. So we've got Counter-Striker, Aggressive, and Trickster. But I have to unlock those. Oh. So, we could do training, but I'm just going to go after the Death's Head Biker Gang. With a network of clandestine clubhouses th throughout Northern Europe and thousands of members, Death's Head Biker Gang have a built-in infrastructure for drug and weapon trafficking across borders, and limited scruples when it comes to arming terrorists the world over. After the Biker Gang Wars of the 90s, we thought we'd seen the last of the Nordic Gangs. But they're back, with a network of so-called clubhouses across Scandinavia. We're seeing a massive increase in smuggling operations on northern European borders. Put a stop to it. Alright, briefing. Restroom. Okay. There we go. So, I've got a bunch of different things, things I can do. Obviously, I'm going to have to relearn this a little bit, and yes, I could have played the tutorial to do so, but I'm kind of fine without it. I just like learning as I go, so we've got a lot of different things we can do. Okay. I think it's the language on the cards that are going to th throw me off a little bit. So we've got block, or we've got front kick. Add a block, strike, deal 10 damage to incoming attackers. So I know block it just prevents me from taking damage. This guy is going to do push. Kick up to two tiles away, five damage, one push. This guy is going to do four. Now, I got a couple of things. Let's see, energy cost is in the corner. So, if I do front kick on this guy, he's out of the map. I could have moved past the target. That would be the other option. This, uh, this guy's only going to do so much, and I don't know if I can get pushed out, necessarily. And how much energy do I have? I got three. So let's do counter and block. And end turn. So counterattack is not actually proper counterattack, but that's fine. So head smash. Slam target into adjacent wall, edge or object. Deal 12 damage, plus one per combo point. Target will... Okay. That's fine. This guy has 20 HP. This, Do they both have 20 HP? Yeah, it looks like it. So what else do we have? Yeah, combo level is new. My main thing is... Just getting around. So this, this guy's doing a short punch, and this guy's doing another push. I think we want to stay away from that, if only because I don't, do not know what my enemies are going to be up to. So let's do... Hammer Fist... Head smash. And then dash. End turn. So this guy's gonna... Okay. He was going to whiff it. But it's fine. So we got slip, emergency, move. Push. Okay, so I'm gonna slip. And we're gonna quick kick this guy out the door. Bye. And then I don't really have anything else I can do. I could do emergency move, but since it has retain, I might as well wait. This guy is kind of not a threat to me. Okay, so what do we what do we have? Shift move past the target. One damage, move tiles. So it looks like moving it all is going to be kind of annoying for me. He's only going to hit for five. Okay. 
We're gonna do shift, dash, head smash. Oh, and quick block. Actually, let's just do emergency move. So apparently doing that turned him so he's facing me. Rude. Okay, let's do a long strike. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Honestly, we can just do these two. Punch him, he's done. Okay, new card and money. Show replay. I love the show replay button. This is what I meant by kind of like super hot. Some part of me kind of wishes that uh, that it didn't show it in a turn-based fashion. I You can still tell it's very turn-based. It would be cool if there was like it almost simulated what would have happened in true real time without the whole feeling of a grid or anything like that. But obviously that would take some effort and why even do that? There we go. Continue. So select reward. So quick strike. Dodge. Move one tile in any direction. Force enemies who were previously targeting the player to attack immediately. I'm going to grab dodge. That sounds really fun. So we have two different ones. Alleyway, restroom. Restroom is smaller. Alleyway is longer. Both are weakened targets. I don't know if we have to worry about too much. So I'm just going to go for the restroom again. We're just going to be bathroom fighter today. Okay, so that guy's got a pipe. I've got a couple. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to step... We're going to push. Because if I push them out the door, they're gone. Now I've still got some. So I'm going to... I can slip. I can dash. Here's an idea. I'm going to move back and I'm just going to... Ah, oh, it didn't work. I was really hoping I could hammer fist the person spawning in. But unfortunately, that's not how this works. Well, that's fine. I got quick block, I got shift. Shift past this guy. Quick kick him backwards. Now, I believe that means his friend hits, hits him. I could be wrong. I'm going to block and counter just in case. Yep, perfect. Yeah, you can actually get enemies to friendly fire each other if you do it right. Alright, so I'm going to... So that's my combo meter. Okay. So I got two guys punching each other. There's no... I mean, I've obviously got dodge, so I can get out of the way. How injured? Neither of them are terribly injured. So deal eight plus two times combo damage. Oh. Okay. Well, here's the thing. I'm going to hit him once. That got him down pretty dang far, actually. So if I just do this, and we can just tank the hit. I don't have to get it out of the way. I can just block. Okay, quick kick. Emergency move. And quick... Now, this guy's going to hit for 8. I do have a shift, though. So, let's do quick kick, quick, sh quick strike. Just to kind of harass this guy down a little bit. And then we shift sideways. And then we unturn. Okay. So, I got push. Get out of here. And head smash. Alright, so we get a new card, and we get some money. Quick kick, throw. Knock down, deal four damage. I like throw. That sounds fun. 
And we could go... Yeah, we want to go gym. I don't need medical. I haven't taken damage yet. Okay, so dudes with pipes, and a lot of them. I didn't actually look at how many enemies were going to spawn here, but that's fine. So what do we got? Quick kick, front kick, head smash. So big immediate issue is we just have a lot of dudes rolling at me. And no easy way to get around them. So I guess what we do is just wail on this guy a little bit, and then we just use dash to get out of the way. Bro. Ideally, I'd like to... Uh, I wonder, actually, if I move over... No. My main thing is I want to get near the door so I can start chucking them out, but it doesn't look like I get the option for that. So let's just, uh... Let's just wail on this guy. We don't have a whole lot of cool control moves to move him around. I'm actually going to go right here. Oh, that did hit me. Shoot. Okay. Let's dodge pass. Hammer fist. And throw. And doesn't give me anything else. Okay, so they don't beat on their friend, but... We kind of knew that was going to happen. So this got hairy, but that's fine. So this guy is stunned. Actually, there's only one person hitting me. He has a possible attack. Interesting. Okay, and I might have slip. So let's do long strike on this guy. Oh, that didn't work. Do I want to do... Yeah, I'm going to try combo finisher on this goon. Okay. And then I just slip sideways. And then I push this guy into the other guy, which just does damage to them both. And I guess I just do counter. That's fine. So what do I got? Emergency, shift, step. Okay, move past target. So, I'm going to just do a quick strike, kill that guy. Both of these guys are pretty beefy. I guess I'm just going to throw this dude. Because throw just stuns him. So I can do whatever the heck I want. Hit the block, and I guess that's just it. Okay, so what do we what do we got? Quick block, push. I mean hit that guy. Hit the quick block just in case. Push him. It doesn't say he's got a possible attack. So I'm just gonna err on the side of he's not hitting me. Perfect. Okay, and front kick. Bye! Oh, get a five combo. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, deal four damage, deal one stun if any damage is unblocked, and the target will turn to face the attacker. Otherwise, heavy strike, 14 damage to a target two tiles away. It does advance. <sighs> heavy strike might not be a terrible idea. All right, let's go to the gym. Gain new abilities, upgrade existing abilities, remove cards. So we can spend money to gain slip Jab, three damage, gain one momentum. Maintain range. Let's check upgrading cards. I've got 110. It's heavy strike do. Makes it cheaper. That's really good. Throw, more damage. Dodge. Just better range. Hammer Fist becomes much stronger. 
Counter, 15 block strike, deals damage to incoming attack attackers. Well, I can actually upgrade heavy strike and another thing. Damage and push. Wow. The upgrading co combo finisher is goofy strong. Okay, I'm going to start with Heavy Strike just because that's a ton of damage and reducing cost is huge. What does that leave me with? Not too much. So, Ups Quick Strike to do more damage. Quick Block to do way more. Long Strike, Step, Slip. Making Slip cost nothing. I'm going to go for that. Energy management is key. Maybe. Okay. Hello. Well, I, that's just a dude with a blowtorch. That's dang spooky. Okay, so this man has a gun. This man has a welder. Okay, I do have dash and step. So we can do some things here. The main question is, is there any way that I can push someone here? Doesn't look like it. No. Biker has armor. I'm gonna step, we're gonna dash. And I'm just gonna long strike this man. This doesn't really do me any good. Uh, oh. Oh no, I just deleted his armor. Oh, Biker. Restores five block every turn. Okay, that's a bit spooky. Oh! Oh shit! That worked even better than I thought! Blowtorchman did a charge attack and got smacked for it. Okay, what is he doing? Charge. Charge up to three tiles. So, if I do... Let's do quick block. Regular block. Just in case I get hit here. Oh, that didn't work. Well, I thought dodge was going to make it so they'd all do their thing, but they didn't. Okay. I can shift behind. I've got head smash. I do have heavy strike. This guy's the only one that's immediately threatening me. Oh, but we need to have something. Okay, still can't head smash. So I'm just going to quick kick him from behind. And we wait. So the big fear is I am going to be surrounded here. But that actually is not a big deal. So I've got slip. Because slip will let me get around. I want to take out the biker if I can. I, yeah, I've, I think I'll be able to do enough damage. So let's slip around. Okay, wreck him. Dodge. Doesn't give me any momentum. Complete the level within five turns. Oh, gosh. With these guys? That's... That's a tall order. Let's just go here and hit this one. Okay. So I've got heavy strike. What else do I do? Let's do throw. Kills this guy. 
than Heavy Strike. Let's see. So he's doing a charge. He's also got welding gear, which gives him block. Let's just move out of the way. I could have done more, but I'll take this. All right, long strike. Uh, let's see. So he's doing his dumb charge again, which doesn't give me a whole lot of leeway here. And he restores 12 block at the start of every turn. So let's do... I'm going to go a little guts here. Hammer fist. And then emergency move. We're just against this guy. I want to get my combo up so that I can finish him off. We've got to upgrade that. Okay. Other thing. Quick kick. Block. Counter. And turn. There we go. I don't do a whole lot of counter attacks, but here it's worth it. And smash. Oh, that did end my combo. Did do a lot of damage to him, though. And we sidestep. Alright. Oh, welder gear. It's not my favorite. Okay, hit him one. Hit him two. Yeah, the big problem is he's just got mad block, and I can't necessarily do anything about that. And we dodge. And we slip. Look at what momentum does. Uh, let's see. Man, I really just don't have anything here, do I? Well... Start with, what does the most amount of damage? Because I think we can do front kick. Long strike. Dodge. I should have done the throw. Alright, there it is. Push. Not that it matters. I don't know if... Hitting him against the background does anything. Okay, we, we actually hit him there. Hit him with a combo. And then we shift sideways. Yeah, I think momentum is just energy. Guess so. Okay. Block. Counter. End. How did I block that? I have no idea. Okay, quick strike. And combo finisher. Good stuff. We got a new upgraded card. Stun dart. Two stun of damage is unblocked. Nine damage minimum range two. Oh, two to eight. So I can use that to knock a guy out for a while. Panic dash. Just got a random card. Move three tiles. Or front kick. Uh, let's see. Deal 12 damage, push the target, or advance and deal 12 and 1 push. I'm going to go stun dart. Being able to take somebody out for a while would be lovely. So we could protect, or we could do event. I'm going to go... Let's go for the event. Let's see what happens. You receive a message about an MI6 agent who's over in over their head. Go assist them. Rush to their aid. Lose health. Upgrade a card. Okay. Not necessarily sure if that was the best, but that's fine. So do we want to upgrade? Free upgrade, mind you. So in that case, combo finisher or head smash. Combo finisher is really expensive. Let's do that. That way it becomes super worth it. I am very low HP, but we'll see how it goes. Actually, this is a really good spot for me. Okay, so what do we have? Quick strike, heavy strike. Well, how much HP? 
Because we've got one easy option, which is... Just absolutely body this guy. And then how much is this guy going to hit me? Actually, let's just do a counter. End turn. Just go full beef here. All aggro. Okay, so what do we got? I've got a combo finisher. I can't use head smash against this guy. No, I cannot. So the question is, well, combo finish of this guy. Let's just get him out of the picture. Then we just block. Can't do that. I do have a slip. I guess I'll move over here. Still can't head smash him. So I guess we just end turn. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I don't think we have a push. We do not. Well, I don't have anything else I'm going to do, so I guess we just wait. Front kick. Unfortunately, oh no, we did get it within six. Oh, within six turns. I thought it was within three and I got worried. All right, hook kick. Eight damage, two momentum next turn. Oh, don't lose combo from movement this turn. Interesting. I didn't actually realize that was a thing. Uh, let's see. Man. Okay. It's still trying to figure out how momentum works. Oh, let's do shove. Shove is actually really good. I absolutely... That's like the one unfortunate part about me not doing the tutorial here. Is that like, I know how to play, I just don't know what momentum necessarily means. Because I think it's the little energy symbol next to my energy symbol, but... I'm already at three, so I don't necessarily know. Okay, so what do we have? Well, first and foremost, quick kick has push. Bye. Okay, next up. I do dash and stun dart. Alright, so he's down. Nobody's going to hit me. Unfortunately, I'm in front of the door, which is a bit rough. That said, this guy's the only one hitting me. So... There's one. Shove him here into the wall. Did that do damage? It might have. Unfortunately, it does not kill him. Gets really dang close, though. Okay. We step here, which costs me a bit of combo, but I can kill this guy in one hit. Momentum is under my health. Oh, so momentum is the uh, is the combo meter. Okay. So I want to do some damage to this guy. Front kick. Hammer fist. Slip. No, it's definitely not. But that's okay. So it's under, it is under agent needed for certain things. You sure? All right, whatever. Okay, so what do we got? Long strike, dodge, counter, block. Well, 
This guy's only going to hit me for a little bit. So let's hit him with a long strike. Oh, that just kills him. Didn't get a five combo. Yeah, so th this is most definitely combo meter. That's just for hitting enemies a bunch. Okay, three punch combo. Three damage three times. That's decent. Maintain combo or shift. I feel like three punch combo could be really good. But I'm going to go for a shift just to avoid. Yeah, I'm pretty sure momentum is just energy based. I I guess we'll just do, do the tutorial after this one. It sucks. It's like, I hate doing tutorials for a game twice. But it's so easy to forget what arbitrary... Well, not necessarily arbitrary. Let's see. Uh, but it's easy to just forget what some of these things do. Okay. Gives all allies four block at the start of every turn. Okay, so you need to die. Unfortunately, he's very tough. So I've got Heavy Strike, I've got Shift. Shift is useful for getting around. We probably want to do the most amount of damage to Chunk, but he's in a really annoying spot right now. We can do Shift, Heavy Strike, and Head Smash. Oh, he's doing a Sweep Attack, so maybe we don't want to do that. Unfortunately, none of my abilities actually move people around. Okay, so let's scoop past, heavy strike this guy just from behind. Secondary energy system, you gain momentum by attacking, and from what I've seen, set back to zero at the end of turn. Is the yellow circle under the health? Nope, that's combo. Combo is reset whenever I do an end combo. Okay, I don't have anything else. Okay, so I've got Shove. So he's doing the big AoE. I got Slip. Let's Shove. Well, I don't have anything else to do, but that's fine. Thank you, Chunk. Okay, so what do we got? A couple of fairly weak dudes. So Chunk's doing the sweep again. 12 and an arc around. So if I actually get out of the way, Chunk is going to kill both of these guys. Yeah, it's just energy. Okay. Actually, if I just move right here, I am safe. And I'm going to just block encounter just in case. Chonk will do most of the dirty work for me. Thank you, Chonk. I was originally thinking I should take out Chonk, but I what I didn't realize is that Chonk is a champion. Okay, so I got push. Shift emergency move. So, in that case... If I do... Uh, ooh. Okay. Let's do emergency move. Shift behind. Hammer fist. And front kick. Gives him the push we need. Alright, and Chonk will finish him off. Thank you, Chonk. God, I love Chonk. He's kind of slow. Okay. Long strike. Seriously, is, is he just... Alright, he's just there. Heavy strike. And then front kick. Keeps him back. Alright, nothing else I can do.
Let's see. I guess let's just hit him with a hammer face. And then we... Then we shove him that way. Block. Quick block. I can just take the damage. Or, well, not take the damage. Okay. Now, I can't do head smash, right? Yeah. So in that case, oh, he's too big to, th cannot be, cannot be thrown. All right. Bye. All right, so he's got, he's got dangage. So we're going to do a combo finisher. It's in bad. Then... I'm gonna slip backwards, step backwards, and kill him with a stun dart. <laughs> hey, we got it within the uh, eight turns. I thought it was only th oh, maybe it maybe it goes down. Body blow, ten damage, uh, ten to target an additional fifteen to stunned enemies or higher to your hammer fist. I like the idea of body blow. Yeah, so it's just the energy you currently have, up to a maximum of three. So you use momentum to give yourself more. Got it. All right, I'm thinking hammer fist. Just for... oof. Okay. I'd like to do an event, but I'm kind of wounded. What we could do is event, event, and medical. Let's do that. Eh, search the safe house. Enhance facilities. Gain 25 health when healing in medical facilities. I like it. Cold kick of water wakes you from your slumber. You have been kidnapped. Some unpleasantness appears to be forthcoming. Start fight. This looks like maybe a bigger... Oh, it's in the prison. This is always a little bit of a concern. This area is hard. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Well... Here's the thing. We've got a co-op buddy, which is namely Chonk is here to save my my ass. God, I love Chonk. So, what do we got? So I got push, but I don't want to I don't want to push anybody or if I do want to push somebody, I want to push this guy backwards into the security guard. I've got step. So let's let's push. Let's long strike. Let's hammer fist. And then we just step backwards. And turn. Thank you, Chonk. Okay, so we, they brought friends. As long as it's not friends with shotguns, I'm fine. Okay, so what do we got? Biggest fear here. Okay. I think we'll be fine. I've got a combo finisher. Let's hit him with that. Move him back a bit. Let's roll him with a hammer fist. I still got some energy. Now the big issue here, Chonk does 12. Now, what I could do... is combo finisher this guy. Let's just do that. And then just dash out of the way. Looks like we don't have any bonus objectives. It's just defeat the dudes. Okay. So I don't have any abilities that... Knock me around. 
I do have an emergency move up to two tiles away. Okay. Stun dart. Ow. Will auto attack once per turn. I did not know he would do that. Okay. Well. I'm out of range, actually. This makes my life easier. Let's throw this man. And turn. So that hurt, but we we heal in the next area, so I can take some damage. Alright, so I got shift, I've got counter, I got quick kick. I'm gonna pop counter because this guy's annoying. Shift. Let's see, quick kick or shove? Let's just do quick kick. As long as I'm not getting wailed on. Thank you, Chonk. Seriously, Chonk is MVP. Okay, so let's give him... Oh. Okay, I got a little bit. Oh, it's a shift. Got it. So, let's hit him with a hammer fist. Doesn't do too much because he is beef man, but that's okay. Shove him this way. Slip. Long strike. He ain't dead yet. That's annoying. Oh, right, because he gets the... He uh, he gets the free chonk energy. I forgot about that bit. Okay. Well, in that case, we do have front strike. So I think what we want to do is heavy strike, shift, front kick. Because heavy strike, we got to start taking down chonk. I keep forgetting about that. Shift. Front kick. Enjoy Chunk, you jerk. And turn. No. He hit Chunk. That's a limitation. Go counter. Do quick strike. Oh, that'll do it. Okay. So in that case, I'm going to do emergency move and... Stun Chunk. That'll give me some time to maybe do some damage. Okay. Hit him with a quick kick. And combo finisher for 26. Head smash? Yes! There he goes. Bonus max combo. Really hoping for some health here, but you know what? I'll take whatever I can get. Medical! Oh, increase max health by two. No thank you. And I have no no injuries, so I don't have to worry about that. Alright, to the bar! Chonk got chonked. Yeah, he did. Alright, so who's this guy? A lot of dudes with guns. This is Biker Boss. Boss of the Death's Head Biker Gang. Heavy attack, 16 damage. Got it. So what do we got? We've got Slip... I can get around these people. I got two hammer fists, emergency move, shift. What I really wish I had was a shove. Oh, but I can't shove anybody out of here. The doors are closed. All right. So in that case, hammer fist, better hammer fist. Slip around. And there's nothing else I can do. Okay, so I do have a shift. Which is good. Combo finisher, stun dart. Okay, so he's now properly stunned.
Uh, let's see. Push this guy. That's one option. Let's just get rid of him. That is maintain range. Cool. Alright, and then I don't want to do anything else because he will swing, take a swing at me. Alright, so he is not a big target. Interesting. So he's going to hit for 16. I could do that. Let's step up. Quick block, just in case. I'm going to try throwing this guy. Because he's not a heavy target, so yeah, we, we can just throw him. He's probably going to get back up and be ready, though. No? No, he is just... Alright, cool. Quick strike. Front kick. Heavy strike. Gosh, I'm just... I'm getting the bully on with this one. Give me my combo finisher and I, I'm ready to take him out. Quick strike. Heavy strike. That upgraded heavy strike was great. Let's see. Now he's going to hit me for 16. I've already got 6 block. If I do this, I just tank the damage. I'm just beating up Santa. He deserves it. Okay. And then honestly... Oh, we just shove him. Probably should have pushed him first. There we go. Big hit to the Santa face. That's what you get for joining a biker gang instead of delivering presents. Well, what else we got? Good work, Agent 11. You've dis disrupted a large part of the Death's Head's infrastructure. It was nothing. What's next on the agenda? Well, take a look. Oh. So we just do the next one. All right. So yeah, instead of just doing each one of these as kind of a separate run, each one kind of can be played in sequence. I'm not entirely sure if you can actually skip ahead. Uh, I have yet to start a new run with this. It would have almost been kind of nicer if each one of these was just a, a different run, run with a different flavor. Uh, just because these runs get kind of long. As such, this is a very good stopping point. I'm going to just cut based on, you know, whenever we have a, uh, a new segment to go to. That'll be a good cutting point. I usually don't lose until the boss anyway, so uh, that makes it easy as far as episode length goes. So, anyway, Fights in Tight Spaces is absolutely fantastic. It is another incredibly unique roguelike deck builder. And I absolutely adore the style, and I really adore the gameplay style, too. Just moving and controlling where enemies are and where they're going to be, so you can plow through them. I am noticing I'm probably going to have to pick up a lot of movement-related perks here. A lot of uh, a lot of the objectives have to do with pushing enemies around you and know, knocking them off edges. And unfortunately, I don't actually have a whole lot of that stuff, nor have I seen a whole lot of cards that really give me that opportunity, unfortunately. So I'll have to try and pick up some more along the way. That said, I, I don't know. This is going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be a lot of cool experimentation that I'll have to do. And I can't wait to see how different builds kind of show up as we go along there's just so many different cards and i i've got the stuns i've got takedowns i got moving enemies around and combos and there's just a bunch of other things i haven't even considered yet and i can't wait to see uh where this game takes me so with all of that said uh fights in tight spaces is out now on steam and i think it's also on i know it's on xbox i don't think it's on the games pass yet uh but it is 22 bucks so, if you're like me and you're not totally sick of deck builders, and in fact, with every new deck builder, you're almost kind of deeper into the genre, uh, then I would say this one's worth at least keeping on your wish list, if not checking out sooner than later. I know there's a lot of them, but this one stands alone as just kind of this weird, unique idea. And something I would love to see more people develop further, or even the developers of this to develop further. But... Anyway, with all of that said, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe. 
because I've got the rest of this run to go for the next episode and episode after, I think, actually. And then after that, well, uh, more to go from there. So, well, that said, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.